today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my essentials for spring break. I hope this video isn't too late. I hope it's just kind of right at the right timing. I wasn't home when I needed to film this video, so I didn't have all my stuff that I wanted to show you guys. So right when I got back here, I decided to film this for you. I love when people do videos where they're just sharing their favorites and what they bring on vacations. For some reason, it just really fascinates me, and I love watching them. I could seriously do it for hours. So in today's video, that is exactly what I'm going to be doing, and I hope you guys enjoy this and find it helpful. Okay, my first essential is kind of a prep before you actually go on your spring break. I like to get spray tans or do a self tan myself, and my favorite is Loving Tan. I actually just ran out of their like little mousse that you put on a little mitt, and then you like rub that all into your body, and it works amazing. I love it so much, but I also have their bronze shimmer like cream, and this just kind of gives you an instant tan, and it washes off when you like take a shower or whatever. But if you're putting on a dress for a dinner or something, and your legs just look white, and you're like, okay, I need to like get them tan and like look you all nice and toned I just put this on and it looks so amazing and it smells super good too perfect for spring break also to go along with legs and looking nice and being smooth I have these waxing strips from the brand Naz these are the ultra smoothing exfoliating wax strips this is amazing if you're wanting to try out waxing or it's something that you do and you just want to try out a new brand this keeps your legs smooth and have and you don't have to shave for up to eight weeks so that's amazing, two months of not having to bring out the razor on your legs, like. <laughs> so these waxing strips are like none of the rest because it leaves your skin feeling the most smooth that it can because it is a two-in-one formula. So on one side of the strip, it has like this exfoliating part, it's the pink part, and you just like rub that on your legs before, and then on the inside it has the wax. So these exfoliating waxing strips are the most innovative of their kind and new to the market, and I think you guys should totally try this. Um, I did it and my legs are still like red right now, but I'm really excited to not have to shave for two months. And I'm going on a mission trip, so I'm going to be so smooth and don't have to worry about shaving, so it's going to be incredible. What's also great about these is they're specifically formulated for people with sensitive skin, so the pomegranate and the grapefruit infused in it, it just makes the healing process a lot better. And I also really like that these have these calming oil wipes in it, so after you're done waxing, you just like put that on your legs and that really helps just kind of like ease down the pain and the irritation because it will get irritated, but that does go away in a few hours. Alright, so I'm going to share with you guys a little how-to on how to use these because a video shows a lot more than words can. So you're first going to take the pink exfoliating side of the wax sheet and just get all your dead skin off of your legs with this. And then what you're going to do is get the wax hot by just rubbing that in between your hands for about 15 seconds. And then you're just going to slowly peel these apart and you can use both sides. So you're going to put this on your leg and then use your hand to just smooth it down in the direction of where your hair grows. So normally you'd just be pushing down. And then you're going to pull your skin taut and then just rip it upwards. And it does hurt like <laughs> pretty bad at first, but you get used to it after a while. And definitely make sure to pull your skin taut like I'm doing here because that really helps it. You can also reuse the wax strips. Um, just fold it in half and then keep rubbing it again. And I've used um, a blow dryer and that worked so well. It worked better than the hands. And then at the end you take these um, post waxing calming wipes and just get all the extra wax off and just kind of calm your skin after the waxing. Moving on, what I also like to bring uh, for spring break is obviously a water bottle. When I go to the beach, for some reason, I get so dehydrated. Like, I'm trying to lay on the beach and just, like, read a book or something, and then I get so thirsty. So, I always like to bring a water bottle. This one is just from Pink, or you can bring, like, a tumbler because those have, like, straws on it. But this one is super cute, and you can just, like, easily attach it onto a backpack or something. I love this, and it's just crucial to have a water bottle. I love the way my hair looks when I get out of the ocean. It's just kind of like wavy and like crunchy and I just want to maintain that forever and just kind of enhance that a little bit. So I love to use a sea texture, like a sea salt spray. This one I've talked about in a video before. I have like beachy wave tutorial. I have that link down below if you want to watch it. But this is just like a sea texture spray and after I get out of the water I just like to spray this. It gives it a really nice smell and just kind of maintains and like I said enhances that natural kind of beachy wave look. So I love this and I always use this. So I like to keep my makeup to a minimum when I'm on vacation or especially if it's like a spring break or a beach. I just feel like you don't need to like cake your face with makeup but I do like to put a little something on and if you're like that I think a BB cream or a CC cream is perfect. This is my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC cream. I absolutely love this. It's so expensive. It kills me because it's $38 and it doesn't last that long but it's incredible. It makes your skin just look so nice. It gives such a nice coverage but it's also very, makes your skin look very healthy and like glowy and not plump but like just tight and nice it smells so good like literally it smells amazing I'm always talking about smell but it's it's important to me so 
I love this. If you're willing to spend the money, try it out. On the beach, I also like to bring a book just so when I'm tanning, I can like do something other than sitting on my phone. I like to just do things a little bit more relaxing and like good for the mind when I'm at the beach. So I have some books here. The first one is Goliath Must Fall. This is incredible. It's super helpful. I even did like a book report on this, actually. And this is more of just like a fun read, and this is just the classic, The Fault in Our Stars. So just bring a book. It's super nice to have. It's also good if you want to read it on the plane, if you're flying somewhere, it's just nice to have a book. Alright, now I'm going to talk about some of my like bathing suit and clothing essentials for spring break because this is like my favorite part of these videos, so let's go. So I will start with the shoes. I seriously love wedges. Just because I'm really short, I'm 5'2", so I like to give myself a little added height. And these just, I feel like, make your outfit just look so girly and just so more put together. So I have these brown wedges. These are very, very simple. I just got these from Forever 21 like a few years ago, and they're like $25, so... Forever 21 has classic good wedges. Then I also have these ones that are more like fancy looking from Marshalls. And I love these ones. They just have like a cute little tie up and these just make the outfit look very fancy. It has like a nice heel to it. Alright, for bathing suits, I love one pieces and especially as of now, I've been really liking high-waisted bathing suits. I think they're super cute and very flattering. I have this first one and this is just from Cup She. Um, and these are just like these striped bottoms. I really like these except the it just kind of, sometimes it looks kind of saggy in the front, but I like how it gives like a full coverage in the butt area because that's like really hard to find these days. And there's this top and I just like, it's like mix and match. This is just kind of like a really pretty like light purpley pink color with some like floral on it. Yeah, I love this. I also have this one that I got from Target. These are just super bright and vibrant. I really like these. They're kind of like cut up a little higher, so that's like flattering. I like these and I just wear it with this black crochet looking top yeah and I like the ones that go high neck just because it gives like full coverage and like nothing's really falling out so those are good for swimming super modest and oh so cute I'm also obsessed with maxi dresses I love wearing them with like wedges um oh, love them so much so I have this one I get a lot of compliments on this one this is just from Marshalls and it's just an off the shoulder kind of like cinched here and then it just goes out, and I love the color of this. It's just seriously beautiful. Then I have this one that I haven't worn yet, also from Marshalls. I got it on sale for $3, and it's just striped. And this one doesn't go all the way down. It kind of goes, like, mid, like, calf. So that's kind of an interesting style, but for, like, $3, I thought it could be super cute. So let me know how I should, like, style this, because I'm not too sure. But at the end, it kind of has, like, this little thing like it stripes going the different way all right so that was it for this spring break essentials video i really hope you guys enjoyed it give me a big thumbs up if you did and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. my roommates everybody Bye.